a new non-for-profit fashion label, is turning those fabrics into wearable art. Netta Vanovac looks at how Magpie Goose is taking that art to the rest of Australia and generating jobs at home in the process. In the Tiwi Islands, pukumani or burial poles are painted to commemorate the death of a member of the community. Pukumani pole is like traditional way when we carve and you know think about sorrow, you know, when the when the person who passed away, they used to have the scars around on their chest, mm -hmm. yeah, and the ladies used to have them on their breast and their shoulder, mm -hmm. yeah. And then yeah, did you yeah. have the idea to do the ceremony poles on, on the textiles? Yeah. It's a modern take on an ancient tradition. Screen printed designs which tell stories of culture are now making their way onto clothing. It's part of a new social enterprise called Magpie Goose, the brainchild of Maggie McGowan and Laura Egan, who want to share the stories of remote Aboriginal communities through wearable art. I love spending time at the art centres and seeing what they are producing, incredible fabrics and textiles that I just fell in love with. And these fabrics just seem to tell a story that, um, in a really modern way that I really loved. And it's not an easy enterprise. Some of the communities, like Wadair, Gumbalanya, Maningrida and the Tiwi Islands, are often unreachable by road during the monsoonal wet season. I was going out there as a lawyer, so I went out quite regularly to a lot of different communities. Unless you've got a reason to go out there, you're not really being exposed to it. There's a real gap in the market in terms of bringing these amazing textiles to the fashion uh, consumers. And so we yeah, jumped at that opportunity and also to make the journey really inclusive. The pair have a bigger goal. They want to help communities develop their own business opportunities. So when people put it on, they suddenly got this like yeah, spring in yeah, their yeah. 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 They hope Magpie Goose can train the locals in the skills of retail business, from web development to showing and selling the label and, you know, introduce it to the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. New York, London. Like, tell the stories London. about the artwork. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. 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 It's yeah, like it. a portal yeah, for yeah. them to connect, yep. you know, yep. through the fashion. They yep. then are able to connect with Tiwi culture and Tiwi people and, yeah, and, and for that, people really love that. Tiwi Designs is one of four top-end art centres that are selling fabrics to Magpie Goose. Decades ago, it was one of the first in the NT to screen print traditional designs. Tiwi art is very iconic, the cross hatching, the dots, the dashes, the shapes, triangle, circle, square if you like, but in configuration that is, is wholly Tiwi. So it translates very well as far as printmaking is concerned. Wow. Indigenous art most usually is using natural colours, so for the Tiwi, for them to actually express themselves in a contemporary colour palette was very exciting. It's been evolving over quite a number of years now. Artist Alan Karanaya has been screen printing at the centre for 34 years, and he says he's proud of the latest results. Like this morning, when it came down this morning, and I saw the ladies from Castron, and wow, you know, that outfit, yeah, like a little punch, so you like, Beautiful, yeah. Magpie Goose relies on Alan's expertise to talk colour combinations and what will work best on their fabrics. Yes, Jabiru is a famous bird in Northern Territory. Mm. So like this one, they're like ponga, dot. They're yeah, like people, lines like this, like it's like a creek or snake. Stephen Anderson says storytelling through art is a crucial way of keeping the Tiwi traditions alive. I see it as actually a maintaining culture, not necessarily morphing into a fashion. It's actually a cultural maintenance process as well. And it's a way of bringing remote Australia to the rest of the world. 
when I wore these pants in America, I had people calling across the street. They were like, nice pants. Nice pants. I was like, yeah, these are from Tiwi. Tell them the story about the airport, about the lady. You're telling the story? Yeah, at the airport. I heard these footsteps and someone was chasing after me. And they said, excuse me. Airport, airport. Who are you wearing? <laughs> Where can I buy these? <laughs> and I said, wow, these are designs from Tiwi. Made from Imola. Artist Margaret Duncan from Urupanga will be designing prints for the label's next range. It's story about the land, about the plant, and how it's been created, and how we look after things in our country, you know? This is something very different, and it's we're still telling our story, our songs, our what animals have created the land that we look after, you know. It's very, very important to tell the story to others as well. I'm really proud of, you know, how we can do things because we have a good talent to do and there's a lot of different Aboriginal people out there have the skill to do it. Maggie McGowan hopes that the label will lead people to think more carefully about where their clothes come from and how they're made. Magpie Goose is by definition going to be slow fashion, but there is definitely an appetite at the moment for people who want to know where, where their clothing's made and what the story is and making sure that that whole production line is ethical.